Now the next problem says the post office made four deliveries today. Four deliveries. The distances he drove were 3.51 miles, 2.72 miles, 4.08 miles, and 1.20 miles. What is the total distance traveled? So that one's a dead giveaway. The last sentence says, what is the total distance traveled? Well, that, that pretty much tells you right there, you're going to be adding them together, the total distance. So we want to add up all of these distances. Uh, it's, it's a lot of distances, so you might say, well, geez, this is going to be complicated. It's really not going to be any more complicated than anything else. 3.51 miles, okay, 2.72 miles, 4.08 miles, and uh, 1.20 miles. And look at the way I've, I've lined up the decimals. All the decimals have to be lined up when you're adding decimals together, okay? So starting in the right-hand column, 8 plus 2 gives us what? Starting at 8, 9, 10, okay? Plus 1 more gives us 11. So 8 plus 2 is 10, plus 1 more gives us 11. Put the 1, carry a 1. Okay, now we move to this column, okay? Let's start with seven plus two, because that's easy, starting with seven, adding two more, eight, nine. Seven plus two gives me nine. Nine plus five, starting with nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, that's the five, plus one, four, one more gives me 15. So that's 15, carry the one. When you add all these numbers together, and you can do that on your fingers, you should get 15, okay? Now let's move on to this column here, okay? 1 plus 4 gives me 5, plus 2 more, starting at 5, 6, 7, okay, 7, plus 3 more, 8, 9, 10, plus 1 more, 11, okay? So I'll put 11 down here, and the decimal point just falls right on through, okay? So it's $11.50, I'm sorry, it's 11.51 miles, and that's why we carry our miles down, because it reminds us what we're doing, miles plus miles plus miles plus miles gives me miles. Start at the right column, add them up, carry the one, add all of these up, you get 15, carry the one, add all of these up, you get 11. 